Today, I'm going to be sharing with you six early symptoms of HIV that occurs in both men and women that you need to know of. Hello and welcome back to Time with Lydia, the pharmacist. HIV stands for Acquired Immunodeficiency Virus and it is an infection that attacks the body's immune system. HIV is spread through bodily fluids such as vaginal fluid, semen and blood and it can also be transferred from a mother to the child. Early symptoms of HIV are called acute retroviral syndrome or acute HIV infection. The symptoms are the body's natural response to the virus. Many people at the early stage of HIV infection would experience flu-like symptoms. Others would not experience any symptoms at all and this can be really dangerous because the infection is only then detected when it is far advanced. During the early stages of HIV infection, the symptoms that are likely to occur include one, a high temperature or a fever. You would experience a body temperature of above 37.8 degrees Celsius or 100 degree Fahrenheit and this would normally last for a week or two but for some people it can last for only one day. If there's any chance you could have been infected, get tested. Another symptom which is number two that you are likely to experience is a rash and this rash can appear on the whole body. It can appear on your arms, your chest and legs. Sometimes too, it can appear on just one or two spots. This rash normally looks more like a drug reaction rash, undefined, and it can last for a week. Another possible early symptom of HIV that you are likely to experience, that is number three, is a sore throat, a sore joint or muscles. And this would occur more like when you get a flu, which could possibly be. But again, if you're concerned you have been exposed, get tested. Another early symptom of HIV in both adults, men and women, number four is night sweats. Of course, there are other conditions like menopause and some cancers that do cause night sweats. But then if you experience this, over just a few nights and you're concerned that there's a likelihood that you have been exposed to HIV, get tested. Number five is feeling achy and sleepy. You will feel generally uncomfortable and really fatigued. And this would make even going to work and doing your normal day-to-day -day activities really difficult. Every part of your body would be hurting and it will be hard to move and this can be really hard. The last but not the least early symptom of HIV in adult men and women is the development of swelling in the neck, the armpit and the groin area. When there is an infection in the body, the lymph nodes located in these parts of the body get attacked and whilst they are fighting back, they get swollen. If you feel swollen lymph nodes in different locations of your body, it's definitely a symptom you need to check out with your doctor. Now, the early symptoms of HIV would normally go away within a week to a month, but the risk of spreading the virus is very high during this time. Bear in mind that having these symptoms does not necessarily mean you have the HIV virus. Remember these symptoms are commonly caused by conditions other than HIV. But then if you have several of these symptoms occurring around the same time and you know that you've been at risk of HIV infection within the past few weeks, you should get an HIV test. Getting tested is the only way out, especially if you have had unprotected sex, that is sex without a condom, or you have shared injecting drug equipment, it's better to get tested. 
Remember, a test in good time can ensure that you get excellent treatment and care, and it also prevents you from passing the infection on to another person. If you start treatment early, it will prevent the HIV virus from weakening your immune system, and it will allow you to lead a healthier and longer life. Without treatment, HIV infection would develop into AIDS, which is likely to shorten your lifespan considerably. Thanks once again for being with me to this point. Please give this video a like. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please hit on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell. So you would be amongst the first to see any video that I upload. Also leave a comment in the comment section. Share this video with your family and friends so more people can learn about HIV. Thank you once again for your time today and I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye for now.